let's see one more I'm not gonna show you this natural stone and I'm gonna show you why because as I look at it I don't know if you can see that that hole is too small for my wire and so this I'll have to do a different way I'll do that in another video let me know in the comments down below if you're interested to see that I will do a lock coil a simple lock coil video for embellishments that do not have a hole in them because there's a bit of a different way that you would want to do that so this one is copper wire I always use 100% um, copper wire this one is coated in gold and this one is the raw copper color so since I already did the gold toned one I'm gonna do the regular copper color I like to use the copper wire because it's a natural element and so it's almost like it al it's alive because the way it ages think of a penny and how it turns and changes and I just like that because as it ages I feel like you end up with a whole new piece of jewelry and if you believe in certain things there are some health benefits to copper as well I won't go into that you can look it up if you're interested but yeah so I just like to use the copper all around you can get it coated in some other colors I've done pink blue um, if you watch my other video you can see that but um, these are the two main colors I usually get orders for there's also a silver coated copper but you always want to keep in mind that whatever finish is on top so if it's a color whether it's the silver or even the golden color over time as that wears and it comes into contact with moisture which it will because it's in your head um, it's gonna wear away and you'll always end up down to this natural copper co copper color so just keep that in mind but again I don't find that to be a problem I think it looks good anyway so here we have the carved wood bead same thing stuck the wire in the hole I'm gonna stop it right there I'm not gonna work it all the way to the middle like I did the other one because this one is gonna be a um, a single coil as opposed to this one which is the double so Let's go on ahead, go on ahead, <laughs> and take the round nose pliers, make a loop at the end, just like we did before. Give it that nice finish. Now let me come in closer because what I'm gonna do to the end of this is a little different. Now, if you want to leave this like this at the bottom, you certainly can. You can use a jumper, add another bead onto that. Let me know how detailed you want these videos to get because I can show you guys several different things. So just let me know in the comments. But it's a lot of stuff you can do with it. I'm going to bend it over so it lays flat on here. Let me see if I can show you this. Take the flat tweezers or pliers again, flat nose pliers, bend it over, and then push it down with your hand. Now this you have, and it is flush. It's no longer sticking out, okay? same thing we're going to take our tool that we've measured for diameter and you want to make sure you have something that's the right size because you want it to fit and you don't want to damage your hair putting it on I like mine to come on and off easily I don't leave mine in some people leave them in all the time I like to take them in and out so definitely want to make sure you know I have that ease so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the wire I'm going to wrap it around now, unlike the one I just did, I'm going to make this be a tighter coil. So I want you to pay attention to how I'm wrapping it. So you can see, as I'm wrapping it, I'm keeping it very close to the loop that I made before it. Keeping everything nice and tight. I'm all about neatness. I just prefer that, especially when you're making something for a client you want it to be perfect so i'm gonna wrap that nice and tight nice and tight and you can even do different so like you can see right here that is tight excuse me in the camera <laughs> this is tight right here and you can see the difference in that coil so now if you want to add a little difference you don't have to do it tight all the way up if you want to you can you can spread it out so when you go to your next coil, leave a little more space. And then, if you 
want, you can do it tight again. Now just to show you what it looks like without the loop at the end, I'm not going to loop this end. Take the flat nose. I like to do all my adjusting while this is on the dowel because I want it to hold that nice, tight, firm shape. So that's what you want to make sure you do. Okay, so here you go. You have that right there. You want to go ahead and slide it off. You might have to work a little bit more when you do a tighter weave. Okay, so I'm going to straighten that out. And there you have it. Okay, you have that nice little curl. And you can see where I left the space in. Just adds a little more interest. If you were to want it closer together, you can take these pliers if afterwards you decide you want these closer together or whatever you can always take this I'm not going to do it but smush it down and you can smush it back into shape anytime you want to reshape put it back put it back on your dowel so you can keep your nice tight shape so there you have it two lock jewels that you can do with an embellishment this one is a carved bone bead, and this one is a turquoise teardrop shape stone. This turquoise is a natural stone as well. And so, yep, there you have it. These are two different styles. It takes practice, it takes patience, but you can definitely get it done. I love making these. As I said, I have an Etsy shop. So if you're one of those people who you know, like, uh, i just rather have somebody else make it. I really love them, but I don't have the time. I'm not crafty. I'm not handy. Cool. Check out my Etsy shop. I'll have it linked for you. Like I said, I do customized orders. Um, I'm toying with the idea of doing bulk orders. If I get enough interest, I would figure out a way to do that, um, like a bulk wholesale type situation. And as I said, I do different sizes, all of that. So check out my Etsy shop. If you have something in mind, but you don't see it, have any questions, Leave me a message. Um, you can mess leave me a mess comment down below. I'll get back to you, or you can message me through my Etsy shop as well. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this DIY tutorial on these lovely lock hair jewels, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.